Hope you see no worth suffering hell on earth for the promise of a heaven above. Why not join the fight that one day we might have a heaven down here below? All right, well now we're going to get into the sing-along section. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, some of these songs you'll probably know, some of them I'll probably have to teach you right now. Might be the case with this one. song from the uh, American Civil War. It was sung by people down in the Appalachian Mountains who uh, were a bit too far from any uh, recruitment centers to be formally inducted into the Union Army, but decided that they didn't really like the idea of dying for the Confederacy. And uh, so they went and formed guerrilla bands and fought against the Confederacy. I'm going to intersperse this song with a little bit of a march, an instrumental piece, and it's called John Brown's March. And uh, the chorus is, I'm going across the mountain, oh, fairly well. I'm going across the mountain, you can hear my banjo tell. When across the mountain, no fair the will. I'm going across the mountain, hear my banjo tell. Got my rations on my back and my powder, it is dry. I'm going across the mountains, Chrissy, don't you cry. Well, I'm going across the mountain, oh, fare thee well. I'm going across the mountain, hear my banjo tell. You'll miss me when I'm gone, but I'm going through. And when the war is over, I'll come back to you. I'm going across the mountain, oh, fare thee well. I'm going across the mountain, in my banjo tail. Even if I have to crawl, I'm gonna give Jeff Davis a piece of my rifle ball. No slave or no freed man ever done me any harm. I ain't gonna lay my life down for no rich man's cotton farm. I'm going across the mountain, oh, fare thee well. I'm going across the mountain, hear my banjo tell. Thank you. 
I'm going across the mountain, oh, fare thee well, I'm going across the mountain, me and my banjo tell. That was a bit of a short chorus. This one's got a bit of a longer one, so we'll see. That's uh, always a challenge to get Minnesotans to, to sing along with anything. I appreciate that. About us. I remember uh, when I was down in New Orleans at that event, they were having this real call and response back and forth thing going on. And I had the misfortune of sitting in the front row. And I've, I'm pretty sure the preacher thought that I was just intentionally being rude to him. I was like, you know, <laughs> he was standing up there, and who's going to make a change in this country? Who's going to do it? And everyone's like, we are, we are, they're standing up. And I'm like, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> it reminded me of a story my father told me. Jesse Jackson came to uh, North Dakota during the farmer's crisis, and he tried to get a call and response going. There was a crowd of Norwegian bachelor farmers, real pure powder milk biscuit kind of guys, you know. And uh, so he was saying, who is it that feeds this great country? But the strongest emotion one of these farmers can, can possibly show is a stern. And that's about what Jesse Jackson got out of that crowd. <laughs> that is to say, you don't have to sing along if you don't want to. If you do want to, then don't be embarrassed. I'm not going to make it easier by the fact that I mostly haven't sing-along songs that most people don't know, so I'm going to have to. <laughs> so this is a song that was actually very popular uh, across Europe. It's uh, a protest anthem in Europe and the Middle East. It's written by a Catalonian man named Louis Lash during the uh, dictatorship of Franco. Uh, and from there, it was translated into Polish and later into Russian and Ukrainian. It's been translated into Arabic, sung during the Arab Spring. And um, this English translation I found online uh, by a person who did not want to take credit for it, I guess. Um, so, plagiarism being part of the folk music tradition, I guess. Um, <laughs> the song is Listacha, or The Stake. And um, the chorus goes like this. But if we pull, we'll see it fall. It cannot last much more at all. We'll see it tumble, 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 crumbling down. You'll hear us call. So that's part one of the chorus. Let's practice that. <laughs> But if we pull, we'll see it fall. It cannot last much more at all. We'll see it tumble, 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 crumbling down. You'll hear us call. But if we pull, we'll see it fall. It cannot last much more at all. We'll see it tumble, 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 crumbling down. You'll hear us call. Now part two of the chorus. It goes like this. I'll pick up my chains and pull for you. You pick up your chains and pull for me. We'll see it tumble, 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 crumbling down and we'll be free. Pick up your chains and pull for you. You pick up your chains and pull for me. We'll see it tumble, 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 crumbling down and we'll be free. The whole chorus goes like this. But if we pull, we'll see it fall. It cannot last much more at all. We'll see it tumble, 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 crumbling down. You'll hear us call. I'll pick up my chains and pull for you. Pick up your chains and pull for me. We'll see it tumble, 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 crumbling down. Is that 
spoke to me softly one morning just before dawn. The lights danced below the horizon as cards passed our door and were gone. He said, do you see that stake there to which we're all shackled and locked? If we can't figure out how to break these chains, we'll never be able to walk. But if we pull, we'll see it fall. It cannot last much more at all. We'll see it tumble, 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 crumbling down. You'll hear us call. I'll pick up my chains and pull for you. Pick up your chains and pull for me. We'll see it tumble, 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 crumbling down. And we'll be free. Suzette. It's been a long time now, my hands are beginning to slip. Although my strength starts to leave me, that post still has a firm grip. It's clear that the core is all rotten, but it weighs us down just the same. When I feel my hands betray me, your song helps me lessen the strain. But if we pull, we'll see it fall It cannot last much more at all We'll see it tumble, tumble, tumble Crumbling down, you'll hear us call I'll pick up my chains and pull for you Pick up your chains and pull for me We'll see it tumble, tumble, tumble Crumbling down and we'll be free Suzette passed away one morning A cold wind took him from the world but God knows where, but what's clear is that I still sit here alone by the door I watch the children pass by me And I sing without a second thought The very last words Suzette ever spoke The very last thing that he taught If we pull, we'll see it fall it cannot last much more at all We'll see it tumble, tumble, tumble Crumbling down, you'll hear us call I'll pick up my chains and pull for you Pick up your chains and pull for me We'll see it tumble, tumble, tumble Crumbling down and we'll be free Oh yes, if we pull, we'll see it fall It cannot last much more at all We'll see it tumble, 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 crumbling down. You'll hear us call. I'll pick up my chains and pull for you. You pick up your chains and pull for me. We'll see it tumble, 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 crumbling down. And we'll be free. Water on it? Actually, can you give me a cider? I would love to. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm near the end of the set. Let's just do it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've sung a lot of. Um... You want a tall, dry one on it? Oh, yes, yes, indeed. You know, that's how you get Minnesotans to sing along, right? Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> everyone, everyone have one. <laughs> Pass them around. Go around. <laughs> Three drinks in. Yeah. And it's no, nay, never, no, nay, never, no more. sung all sorts of songs about heroic struggle and uh, disobedience and rebellion and all that stuff, but there's one form of civil disobedience that I don't think that people really give the full due that it's worth. 
The first cause of uh, people in the United States having rebellion against our federal government after the American Revolution. That is, of course, the right of people to make, brew, distill, and consume their own beverages in the comfort of their home. <clears throat> Every moonshining song is really a rebel song when you get down to it. Well, I am the neighborhood moonshiner, the pride of the tenement block. If you want some more, come find my door and give it the secret knock. If I'm ever caught, I'm sure to rot behind some prison wall. Until the day it's hit parade for tax-free alcohol. By the statutes of our nation, you've the freedom to ferment. But dip into distillation and you've crossed the government. You can brew your wine or cider, you can make a bock or stout. But you're bound for time on a felony crime if you take the water out. I am the neighborhood moonshiner, the pride of the tenement block. If you want some more, come find my door and give it the secret knock. If I'm never caught, I'm sure to rot behind some prison wall. Until the day it's hip parade for tax-free alcohol. When I'm distilling alcohol, there's safety on my mind. I'll even remove the methanol so the customers don't go blind. But if one night you catch a sight of the tenement up in flames, you'll hear the boom come from my room and know that I'm to blame.